Okay, so today I would like to have um, a wee chat with you about the difference between shells, subshells, and orbitals. This is something that was never really explained to me properly in secondary school. These terms are just kind of used um, interchangeably with each other and they were never, they're just never differentiated between each other. So I'd like to try and um, explain to you the difference if you're in the same boat and you're a bit like, I don't know the difference. So what is the difference between shells, subshells and orbitals? So. We've got our electrons and they orbit the nucleus of an atom at different ranges, which we call the shells. It could be helpful to think of the electrons as planets orbiting the sun. So we've got the sun in the middle, that will be the nucleus. And then the first planet orbiting the sun is, oh, I should look this up, Mercury, it's Mercury. <laughs> so Mercury um, orbits the sun and that could be known as the first shell. And then in the second shell, we've got Mercury, Venus. We've got Venus. It is Mercury, Venus, Earth. Well, yeah, okay. So second one is Venus. And that is the second shell. And then third is Earth and Mars and so on. And each planet is a certain distance away from the sun, like the shells are from the nucleus. And each major shell has subshells. So we've got subshells in the shells. Major shells have different numbers of subshells and therefore hold different number of numbers of electrons. Atoms contain an infinite number of possible electron configurations. The configuration associated with the lowest energy level of the atoms is called the ground state. And the f principle shows how energy increases in subshells by filling the lowest energy subshell first, um, the ground state is built up. As the energy of the atom increases, the number of subshells filled increases. The shells have subshells, which in turn have atomic orbitals. So we've got um, we've got the shells, we've got the subshells, and then we've got the orbitals. So the quantum numbers we've got s, p, d, and f. They designate the subshells. And then say we've got the p subshell that has three orbitals, px, py, and pz, or pz. Each orbital can hold a total of two electrons, making six the total number of electrons a p subshell can hold. The d subshell has five orbitals and can hold a total number of 10 electrons. The f subshell has seven orbitals and can hold a total number of 14 electrons. It might be th helpful to think of um, a shell as a neighborhood, and then a subshell as a house or a block of flats. And then the orbitals, um, they would be the different rooms inside a house. The general idea is that you can't tell exactly where an electron is, but he will be in his room, probably. And the ground floor flat, um, electrons are in the ground state, they don't need to release much energy to get out of their house. But the ones higher up, um, they do need to release more energy as they've got all those stairs to climb. Now, I hope that has been a little bit helpful or else just it's confused you all the more. Um, if it is the latter, feel free to pop some questions below down in the comments and I will do my best to answer them or else if I can't answer them, just point you in the right direction. Thank you for watching. Bye. To really learn something, you need to put it into practice, which is exactly what Brilliant allows you to do. It's an amazing resource for learning science. You get to immediately apply the concepts to real world situations, see how they relate to other concepts and build up a framework to deeply understand science. What's more, once you've mastered the foundational courses in physics, astronomy or classical mechanics, you are well positioned to cover advanced topics such as special relativity. Complement the many, many YouTube videos I'm sure you've watched with Brilliant's interactive problem solving based courses. Put what you learn into practice. Go check out Brilliant and sign up for free by following the link in the description below. The first two 100 people to sign up using the link will also get an awesome 20% off their annual premium subscription.